Hi, welcome to another new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about Volcano Orange. So Volcano Orange is the third color that I am reviewing from the Shermink uh, Horiodum Aquarel uh, Super Granulation Colors. So the pigments used are PY159 and PR108. So these two colors, we are familiar with them because in the last two videos, I've introduced the Volcano Yellow and the Volcano Red. Uh, this paint is transparent. It has uh, five stars on the uh, light fastness, meaning it has excellent light fastness. Staining, um, it is semi-staining, so we will scrub this out later. And it's, of course, granulating. The line on top is a, before I uh, apply um, the, the paint, comparing it with the, the line that I've drawn over, it's partially uh, covered by the paint. So I don't know, maybe I'm using too much paint, but here it says it's like kind of transparent. Mm, I don't know, it's a little bit less transparent than I hope it is. Um, I guess it's also uh, due to the fact that it is uh, granulating. So some of these particles, I may have used it too much, so it kind of covers up uh, the lines. So when used thickly, it kind of um, uh, look a bit patchy. And at the bottom, um, I don't know why this pen is supposed to be fade proof and waterproof I don't know why it, it, maybe I didn't wait a bit long for it to dry up before I apply the uh, the paint yeah so it, there's a little bit of like the the ink coming off um, but you can see that it does become quite a nice soft coral orange dull orange color I think this is pretty nice um, and we look at the when we look at the paint in water test um, I don't see a distinct separation um, of the two the yellow and the red red pigments they they kind of just i don't know the mixture is so well so well done that they kind of like diffuse together like out as orange particles right and and when you look at the um, water in in paint test um you can't see that so i think it's um probably uh, the particle size are probably about the same so you don't really see that that distinct um backwash backflow and let's now do uh, the scrubbing, right? Just to see if it is uh, semi, it's like semi staining. So as you can see, I'm able to get some of these colors out, some of the paints out, um, but the uh, paper, it has not been restored to the original color. So it really is uh, slightly semi, oh, semi, trans, uh, semi staining, semi staining. Now, we are going to just do like a glaze over so that you can see if it's possible to kind of uh, get a more opaque uh, wash over uh, over a dried dried paint. So I'm trying my best. Yeah, so it doesn't get very opaque. I think this is kind of the most opaque that I can get, and this is kind of the glaze that I can get over it. It's 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 okay. I mean it. it does it's not fully opaque yeah but i mean it's not a, a transparent uh, it's a transparent paint so that explains it all um, and then when we look at the uh, gradient test um, you also do see you also see some of these big particles um, that kind of that that's a uh, deposit at the top and then as the uh, water flows down with gravity it kind of just pulls down the smaller particles i don't see a great differentiation or a lot of like big particles at the top and, and very little coming down it kind of looks a little bit uniform um, and, and there isn't a big separation between like the yellow and the and the red pigment either so it just seems like everything is is like orange pigment I don't know how they do that. Regarding the mixtures, um, we I have mixed it with um, the 12 colors of the freight bowl. Um, and my conclusion is that um, it, it it's it's like a it's like adding orange color to uh, to, to these uh, single pigments. And and it, it does make a, doesn't make a lot of difference when you are kind of at the orange um, area and the red areas. Uh, red colors for the red and the warmer colors like the red and the orange um, it does give you quite a nice orange color when you mix it with the uh, yellow like the yellow um, something like a middle yellow this is pretty nice um, and i would like to just point out for the uh, blues blues turquoise and the greens these are really beautiful especially i think with the uh, turquoise and the green color and you do see that the separation. So if you, if I, I could um, expand this to the beautiful mixture over here, you can see for the phthalo green, 
you do see all these particles just dropping down and that phthalo green being like a small, uh, very small particle without the uh, granulation, um, you see it like fill up the whole area um, very uniformly, that green, and then some of these uh, orange particles just dropping at, at the areas that it's supposed to do, something like that, but it's this whole thing is green. Um, and we, if we mix it with other like ultramarine blue or the uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, which is like a turquoise, granulating turquoise, um, you, you, you do see like the colors uh, kind of uh, get, you, it gets neutralized and you see a beautiful uh, or, or complementary gray, gray color. Uh, it becomes a grey and then there's these like um, big particles, orange particles that drops down and this is the, the, the uh, neutralization which is really nice for the ultramarine blue. So this is how we get um, this uh, volcano orange. It is, as we have mentioned, volcano yellow plus volcano red um, gives it this mixture. So it's kind of easy to get. Um, but my mixture, I do see that there's sign of a separation. Some spots are more yellow and some spots are more red. So if you do have these two, you are able to kind of mix this kind of like a mixture. Um, this one doesn't give you, so it's more uniform than what we have with this one. So let's see how um, I use this in a, a short front drawing. I, I use a volcano orange for this short front drawing of a little fresh little meat. Uh, restaurant. So what I um, did here was to use the um, volcano orange over here because this place is actually orange, like coral orange color. And I really, I really love uh, the texture and, and how soft it kind of looks. Because you know, like a lot of orange that we know, they are kind of um, more bright and they're very brilliant. So this is kind of like a between orange and um, and, and brown color. Set green is for this area. So set green together with this color uh, with the uh, volcano orange, you kind of get a, like a nice brown, nice brown shade. So I use it for the vegetation that's uh, like behind um, greenery that's behind. Um, and when you mix it with ultramarine blue, because blue is like kind of a complementary to, to orange, so you do get like the neutralization and also it becomes like a brown grayish mixture. So for most of these, can you see, these are mostly just a mixture and if you, I kind of like prefer it to be more gray, I will actually add more blue and you get it like more, more, uh, no sorry, more gray, more violetish. Um, this would be kind of the color it, it, it has. And then if you like to have it more brown or more warm, I will use more of that orange and you can see in areas over here. So for some of these areas, I actually use transparent pyro orange. You can see the difference between the transparent pyro orange is really really bright in your face red brown warm orange color and um, this uh, volcano orange which is really just a more muted orange color which is uh, pretty nice so in summary uh, it's kind of dull orange uh, brown or brownish orange color it, I really like it when it's diluted out because when it's diluted out you do get you, you know it kind of look like a coral orange and you can even use it for for flash like for skin tone and it would look really really nice i don't think it's it's necessary to get this color because if you have volcano yellow and you have volcano red you can just mix it really readily thanks for watching um, this is the end of the video if you like this video give me a thumbs up um, subscribe if you'd like to see similar content um, and i see you in the next one bye bye